Guys, look what I just found. <gasps> These beautiful Manjula potos at the Home Depot. And they have so many good plants. Oh my god, I honestly want to take it, but I already have one, but <sighs> I'm not gonna take it because like I can just propagate my own. And just look at that. I just wanna admire the beauty. Such a gorgeous plant. They have these beautiful marble cream photos for 20 as well. Like, look at the foliage. I'm like, honestly, shaking. <laughs> they got some plants outside as well for like 50% off, which I will show you very, very soon. Like, look at that. 20 and then this one is like 15. I think I might take it. I don't know. They got these beautiful Caladians, I believe so, for 20. And they have a Brazil. Yeah, they have so many good stuff. There's also some stuff from um, our other favorite company. Can you place it over here? I'll come back for it. <laughs> I need to like, you know, process. Because if not, usually it's an impulse buy. But what I do, I just like put it back. Or I hold it. And I walk around with it. And then usually I get over it and I just put it back. But look at these beautiful micans. And it is for seven. Ooh, a little ashy. It's for $17. Oh my god. Like, I just, I was literally just doing some, like, groceries. And I was like, let me just pass by. Since it's, like, super, super close by. Uh, let me just pass by and see what they have. If they have anything. Because it was super bad in here. But, as you can see, they have a very nice, lush shipment. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. And there's another one over here. Like, look at her. Like, look at that. Oh, it's such a classic, beautiful plant. And then we have a beautiful golden poto. Oh no, it's like a jade. I don't see like the golden variegation. So, I'm like literally sweating, it's so hot. Um, let me just film some stuff for Instagram and I'll see you guys back. I'm back. But like, look at this beautiful pepperonia. It just says beautiful home decor. But it doesn't say the actual name. So, so pretty. Oh my god, and they have like another one right in here. But I don't know, I feel like it's delicate. <sighs> Look at that. Pretty. Wow. Uh, they got some global greens. Oh my goodness. And they got some other ones. And honestly, an amazing shipment. They got these birds' nest ferns. Uh, oh, look, these little arrangements of a Maranza. Oh, this has a Potos Enjoy. Look at these beautiful orchids. I saw one outside for like 50% off. So it would be like $9.50. So pretty. Like, look at those flowers. Oh my god. <laughs> they have so many, so many good plants in this location. It's, I mean, it's been a hot minute since I've seen a very lush shipment. And like, look at this massive golden potos. Do you guys see how huge it is? <sighs> like, I would take this instead of the Monjula potos. Because, like, I, I need plants that are low light. And that perform really, really good. And I'm just not so finicky. Monjulas are pretty good at that. But, like, they... I don't know. Like, mine's doing really, really pretty. But it's because I had it outside. Look at this rabbit's foot fern. Look at the little rhizomes. Oh my god, this place is dangerous. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like shaking from like nervousness, but also like excitement. Look at this beautiful. I think it's called, yeah, Fluffy Ruffle Fern. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. And it just looks so nice and like lush. Love it. I love it. They also have the twister. 
I think it's called Hurricane, Bird's Nest Fern. This one. Pretty. They just have, I don't know, I honestly don't know what to like So y'all. They have also these nice looking bonsais, which I might get one for my um, stepdad. Cause he wants a bonsai, so I might get one of these. Like, look at that. And it's cause his birthday's coming up very soon, so. That's like a perfect gift. And I might give him a grow light too. <laughs> Because I don't think he has a girl like I don't think he's ever had plants, but he wants a bonsai because they're super duper cool, he says. Um, so it'll be like a girl light with the bonsai. Like, like that's like the perfect combo. You know, to set him for success. <laughs> look at this beautiful Manjulu. I mean, Manjulu. Brazil. Like, look how thick that is. I can just stare at it, you guys. Like, I have mine at the house, and I have moments where I'm just like staring at it like a psychopath. <laughs> My plants are probably scared of me, but look at that. Like, why do they have to be so beautiful? And Brazil is like, if you don't have a Brazil, you need to get one ASAP. Because like, if you can, because like, they're just so beautiful. And they're really easy to look after. They're not finicky, you guys. Like, they're just, and they're super fun to propagate and share to friends. Or you can just sell it. Like, we respect the side hustle. Look at that. They have this one too. I'm seeing like a couple of them over here. I don't know what it is. I think it's a pepperonia. And I don't know. Usually pepperonias with me, yeah. Usually, oh my nose are dirty from the plants. Usually pepperonias are like, um, are hit or miss for me. Just depends. Oh, I'm gonna get it back in there. Come on. There you go. Little guy. Well, let me give you guys some close ups on these beautiful plants. Wow. Like, how can I not, you know, how can I go empty handed Like, <sighs> look at these bromeliads. Sorry if I'm checking the camera too much. I'm honestly, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> and like, I'm really nervous. I don't know why I've been doing this for so long, but I still get shy. Look at this one. Oh my God. That doesn't look, oh my God, that's sad. Oh no, pobrecita. But look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful bromeliad. I love how many blossoms. I think those are called flowers. There's a little yellow guy and a croton. <sighs> I would fix it, but I want to make sure that people know that it's like not good. So, yes, I'm also charging my phone, and it's getting hot in my pocket. <laughs> this fiddles for um ten dollars. It's twenty, so usually they're like fifty percent off. So that's ten. It's not that bad. Oh my god, look at this stunning ivy. It's like it's missing something, but it's cute. And this little white. Yeah. It needs a drainage hole, but it's cute. They got this beautiful Syngonium. We love urban jungle. And they're LGBT friendly. I don't know, it's gonna like bother some people, but I don't care. Look at this orchid. It has no flowers, but this is one of my favorite orchids because even without the flowers, it just looks super duper cool. I love the stems. It just looks like a really fun houseplant. I don't have one yet, but it's pretty. They got some more goodies in the bottom. Singoniums and all that good stuff. And then they have another, I, I said blue fern, but somebody corrected me and I forgot. Blue star fern. Look at that. I honestly tried it three times <laughs> and I keep killing it. So I don't know. I have no idea, but it's super duper pretty. Just look at that. Look at the foliage next to this beautiful Marble Queen photos. Like, are you kidding me? I wonder how many they had. Look at that, you guys. Like. <sighs> wow. And then this one's really, really, really cool. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's huge. It's like my hair in the mornings. I love it. But it's yelling humidity to me, so I don't know. But I love how fuzzy the tips are. I think that's super duper cool. Love it. Like, look how huge it is. They have a very nice, an actual golden photos. Like, look at that. Look at that with these augers. <laughs> Can I price anything so? But I mean, it looks like heavy duty and stuff like that. Oh, they have another Marvel Queen Potos. What? This one is 28, but it's on a nice looking pot. So, I like it, but 
it's not for everybody which is perfectly fine somebody might get something else they have these beautiful i think it's a split um a hope philodendron i know it's a philodendron it looks kind of sick to be honest look how red those bromeliads look at this pink one look how red this is that is so red it is for 19 dollars damn looks really really good These massive Chinese evergreens. It's like on a massive pot, and these are for fifty dollars. This one too. This nice looking aglumenia. I'm honestly obsessed. And they still have more over here. I just can't get over it. Like this one looks super duper cool. But I'm seeing a lot of it's like foliage. Oh, I can probably get it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know that's still shoplifting. And I'm an influencer. I can't be doing that. But if I wasn't, I would definitely take some cuttings. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like, it doesn't matter the big box stories. Like, come on. Look at this nice leaf. Oh my god, for a second, I thought I wasn't filming. Uh, my heart skipped a beat. But look at that. They have more. These are nice. I hit, Mine died. But I have it outside and it's growing a lot faster. So usually whenever my plants struggle, I like to place them outdoors in the shade, of course. And I let them grow. And so they get and so they, they look nice and then I put them back inside. Because it's kind of hard to like help a plant inside. When like you can use growlits and stuff like that, but Mother Nature does really really good in spring and summer. So this is a peperonia and like this one too. This one's really, really pretty. I love how pink the edges are. These are really just to look after, but like that other peperonia, I don't know. Oh my God, they have so many good stuff. Like stop it. <laughs> look at that ivy in the back. Is that a Justina? No, wait. No, I think it's just a simple jade. Which is still equally as beautiful, but it's just the golden potos. Usually, you can find Jensenas that look like that, just green, but if you look really closely. <gasps> these are $10. You guys. Oh, the pots are blue too? Where's the tag? I think I'm. <laughs> oh, look at the small pots. They have a really good selection. Look at this nice golden potos. I'm sorry, I just love golden potos. Just any kind of potos. They're super duper cool. These stiffened backyards are 15. Ooh, look at these Maria Singonians. Oh, this is nice. Seven. Beautiful. I like when the new leaves come out and they look super like so stunning. They got some skin dapses, y'all. They got a lot of stuff. She's like yelling at me, like, take me home, David. Like, just take me. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's yelling at me, you guys. What do I do? What do I do? It's yelling at me. Look at these um, ravens. They're $50 as well, but they're huge. I got mine last year and it's, it was like one of those these kind of pots and i ended up repotting it in a bigger pot and have it outside in the shade because i wanted to get like decently sized but i don't want to pay 50 for one these fiddles are 20 dollars these fiddles are 20. i like fiddles they just need a lot of light but everybody's environment is different like if i was like in a dry environment then i need to like you know because they also like humidity from what I know but in my home it's like naturally very humid <laughs> look at those aglomenias those are 15 by the way these little arrangements have a drancina and a golden potos for $33 I know I did promise I was going to take you guys outside but I'm not going to because like there's a lot of people <laughs> these monsters are 15 they're $15 
Let me see if I can find any sports. I never get lucky. And every time I log into Facebook, I always see them. It's like, it's teasing me. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't really look <laughs> really thoroughly. Like I'm sure these other people do. Maybe some just get really, really lucky, but I just like look like that. And if I don't see anything, then I just move, move along. <laughs> they have a really good selection. And then in the front, I see these beautiful alocasias. But I know that close some of them in smaller pots as well. And these are for $16. Gonna put it here. Well, it's because I was gonna put my hand up, but I can just. Okay. Look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful pepperoni. How much is it? Sixteen. I think that's decent. The pot's like super duper nice. Look at that. And it has like fake sphagnum moss. But it doesn't have a drainage hole, so... Oh, I'm getting old. Every time I get up from my knees, it hurts. This is so cute! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, that's not a bad price. I know they're not the real flowers, but they're still so pretty. Like, which one would you get? I'll get this one. And this one. And this one. <laughs> Wow, this looks did not disappoint. It's not Betonias. Super funny, guys. That's basically it for today. Thank you so much for giving me company. I don't, I'm not gonna take a plan. I'm, I'm getting better at controlling myself because like I just tell myself, why are you gonna buy another plant if you can better take, take care of the ones that you have? I know that's like so like negative and like bad, but <laughs> it helps me. And I'm trying to do anything right now to save my wallet and learn to love the plants that I already have. I mean, if I do see a plant that I like it and the vibe is fine, then I'll take it. For example, I just changed my mind and I might get this one. I don't know. Because you don't always see Mandula Potos, but I'm telling you, if you're in a hunt for one, you're going to start seeing them everywhere. Because usually when you find them like, you know, like this, like more often, and I'm seeing them more often, um, they're gonna, you're, you're going to see one, I'm pretty sure. Because these were so difficult, but girl i don't know i might take her <laughs> i don't know but i want another light for it you know uh, i mean i do but <sighs> i'm just gonna admire it and i'm gonna go home and admire the one that i have at home and i don't want it to know that i was cheating <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for going pressure with me you guys think i positive eyes and i'll see you on the next one honestly like thank you so much for joining me i love y'all bye